Hey everybody, welcome to Azumi Game Devtober Day 22 and 23, I think. Jesus, losing track of the days. So, uh, yesterday, I did pretty much nothing because I was sick all day. It was really weird. I was only up for like five hours. The rest of the time, I was just asleep. And during those five hours, I wished that I was asleep because I felt like garbage. Uh, but today, did a lot of stuff, a lot of headaches, a lot of bug fixing. I would say, and I'm sure this is not unique to me, I think this is just the way programming and like game development works in general. 80% of the last 23 days has been bug fixes that I have not foreseen, and about 20% has been actually implementing features I planned on fucking implementing. So, the fact that I'm still even relatively on schedule is bewildering to me because the vast majority of my time has been putting out fires that I did not intentionally create and barely understand. Uh, it's annoying, but whatever. It's a big calm moment when you actually fucking figure it out. Uh, so today, majority of the day, I did like half animation work, half logic work. So we have one a blender. I uh, got this guy here. The turret guy. I had to make a death animation for him. As you can see, I rigged him up. He's got like bones and stuff now. So he can move around and do stuff. And uh, so if I ever need to use him for like 3D things later, if I ever make a 3D game, I got this guy all rigged up and ready to go. All the bones kind of move around and things like that. And, like rotate them, rotate them, whatever. Uh, but if we arrow through this, he has like a uh, animation where he's like, bleh, and he kind of just falls apart. I probably could have done like a simulation to make this work, but I was like, fuck, I only need a few frames. So I just did it frame by frame. He kind of like curls in, he's like, bleh, and just kind of falls apart. Which is kind of cool. Uh, so I did that. And then I brought it into GIMP, made it sprites. And then if we open up construct, you can see it down here. So. Now what I did is the head here is actually a separate object than the body, but in that animation I just kept them both the same because the head and stuff moved, and I wanted to like rotate around. So in the game logic, when he dies, the head turret part immediately just gets destroyed, but it's replaced with this body part gains the head. So it has it's a seamless transition. It looks like nothing changed. Because uh, you can destroy the turret anyway, because it doesn't need to be a turret anymore. It just needs to be a graphic that falls apart. But if we go here and play the dead animation, bleh, looks kind of cool. Not the best thing in the world, but it's something. And that's fine. So that head that's floating over there disappears and is replaced with the other one that just... It's pretty seamless in-game, which is which is nice. So, uh... I took just spent a million trillion zillion gazillion hours fixing two bugs. Uh, one I actually was able to fix, the other was a workaround. I was noticing a bug with Azumi when you were doing the wall slide. Um, if you kept holding the button down and slid down the wall and then fell, you wouldn't leave the wall. You would just stay cling to the wall and would just float there and you wouldn't be able to get out of the state. And it took forever before I finally figured out the easiest way to do it would be wherever the fuck this is in the wall. So I just added if it's not, if there is no wall to the left or the right, just put the state back to default. This is a simple thing. It took forever for me to figure out. I was trying to set like else statements on either left or right state because I have, if there's a wall to the left, whether you're on the floor or on the wall, do the different things. And then I tried having an else statement for either of these, so we just go back if there was no wall there anymore. And that didn't work. It would just break one or the other. Like if I had it set up on, if I did this one first, it would break the left and not the right, but I did the right first, it would break the right, but not the, it was really stupid. It was really dumb. It's another one of those, my, my mantra of it should be working, but it's not is in full force today. So I eventually just said, fuck it. Well, what if it's both? Like, it's both of them, not on either left or right. Just set it to go away. And that works. I don't know why the other one didn't work, but uh, whatever. Fuck it. So that was that. And then the other thing was the turret. So I changed the logic around on the turret. Because uh, one of the things is that 
I had it set before where every X amount of seconds it would spawn a new turret if there was less than uh, less than one. So if all the turrets were destroyed, it would spawn another one uh, every five seconds. But once there was one, it would just not do that again until it was all destroyed. It's basically a way to keep them coming. And uh, that was fine-ish, but the problem is uh, it would just keep counting. So even when it was got destroyed, one could immediately come back if it was like, you know, if you destroyed something when the counter was on four, then five would just immediately pop right back in. So what I needed it to do is I needed it to start a timer when there was none so that like it would be a predictable window of every like x seconds after the last one's destroyed another one would come back just so i could set that variable to be anything depending on the situation just a way of cleaning things up now initially what i did because i have a different scenario here is i had each of the turret spawns which are these two purple things i don't know why that one keeps getting pushed up there but the uh, the purple square there and the purple square up here both had timers on them and the logic would be okay pick left or right which I already had here um, and then depending on which left or right was that corresponding turret spawn would start counting down and when it reached zero you'd spawn a turret for some reason that didn't work again should have worked but it didn't for some reason it would count down but then once it hit zero nothing would fucking happen uh, if I said, if I off, there was one statement that said, you know, uh, if right here, like system, if turret spawn equals left, then it would say start the counter. And then there would be another statement below it. Once the counter's done, do this logic here, the spawn, the turret base, set turret, set stage turret, all that black, all that crap, <clears throat> the same logic that didn't work. But if I moved this logic up into the first statement, it worked, it just wouldn't count down because it would just immediately do it. So there was nothing wrong with this stuff of spawning it, it just was being fucking retarded and wouldn't work. So what I eventually just did is said, fuck it. Actually, I probably would have kept fighting it, but the program crashed, so I lost all the progress of setting that up. So I was like, well, I'm not even gonna bother doing that again, resetting up something that's not gonna work. So I made a new object called turret timer, now that counts down, and when that timer's finished, it chooses left or right, and then which one ever chooses it immediately spawns one on the left or the right. It's essentially the same thing, just with a different object. The logic is exactly the same. It's when a timer finishes, do something, only this time, it works. Last time, it didn't. Why? Fuck if I know. That's fucking game design for you, dude. Shit just doesn't fucking work. And you just sit here, and you're like, hmm huh i don't fucking get it doesn't make sense to me it, it it's it's there like i've done the exact same thing a second time with one tiny little difference no difference to the logic but th th this time it's fine i don't fucking know i fucking it's I'm going into an early grave because this shit just doesn't make any goddamn sense I'm just kind of and my code's getting really messy uh another thing i did <sighs> is added a little blood effect to basically everything it's right here we can do a little preview blech, blech. so basically on every enemy and azumi now when you get hit this spawns in a random orientation so it's not always exactly the same so it kind of gives a little thing i also added back the uh, screen shake for when an enemy dies to give it a little more oomph so let's just let's just jump in let's just let's just do this shit let's just fucking all right so yeah, we can go here, and I see is even if I'm, though I'm holding the key, I immediately exit the uh, the jump, which is good. Oh, and I added death animations for the flyers too, so you can see now there's a little blood when you hit things, and uh, when you get hit, there's a little blood. It's hard to see because you're flashing and moving around. There we go. There's a little death animation for those guys that kind of boom, dive a bomb out of there. And you can see a turret has spawned now because it's been 25 seconds. It picked the side. And uh, I can I can I can do up here. I can hit him, and you can see there's a bunch of little blood things spawning with him because he's bigger. Man, oh god! I still haven't figured out how to fucking fix that timer. There's no variables. I died. There's no variables, or no logic or anything in all of Construct to control that timer. I've looked. They don't exist. 
so I don't think it's possible. So that whole enemy might have to be scrapped <laughs> because after all the work I've done, hours, the last week and a half has been basically working on that turret enemy, building the assets, all that shit. I might have to destroy and scrap the entire thing because I can't reset the turret firing length every time I leave the line of sight. So you can't predictably gauge when it's gonna fire. It just kind of fucking happens and you take it up the ass and that's it. You can see if I kill it, it falls apart. All right. Uh, there'll probably be more to that animation at some point. Maybe we'll have it like blink out have like a fade thing or a flash thing, have them blink out. All of these things should probably have that. They look kind of dumb just disappearing, but one step at a time. But that's where we are right now. I also, there was, t -t 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 I should mention the last vlog, I got way more fucking feedback than any other vlog I've done. Uh, and everyone was just like, had all their own ideas of like how the dodge uh, addition should work or if it should be taken out entirely. Uh, so I read all the people's opinions on it, I eventually decided to just take it back out. So the dodge extension is no longer in the game. Uh, I just thought about it, and I'm like, it feels good, but the problem is, there's no point in that, because someone brought it up, like, well, I mean, if you are overlapping an enemy when a dodge ends, and you just keep going, like, there's no point in even having a limit to the dodge, because, like, you'll, you'll never get hit, you'll never fuck up a dodge, you just have to hit dodge whenever an enemy's like even close to you and you'll just automatically keep going like you'll either dodge through it like normally like you should or if you miscalculate it you'll just keep going so the mechanic felt good but it also defeated the purpose of having the mechanic in place in the first place so yeah that's gone i don't know if i'll replace it with anything like i said i don't want like feature creep to get in here. I probably shouldn't even have implemented it in the first place because, again, I said I wasn't going to mess with Izumi herself anymore after this. So I think, yeah, the only other thing I might do is I might just, because I'll take one event to add, is let you throw shurikens in the air. So it'd be nice to kill these guys from a distance. Uh, but, but yeah, that's where I'm at. Game making is suffering. It feels great when you finally figure it out, but getting there, my god, my god. Let me tell you. Uh, yeah, I'm still slightly... I'm not even ahead of schedule anymore. I'm just on schedule now. Uh, I have one more enemy I have to make in like two days, and I don't think it's going to happen. So I think I'm going to go from ahead of schedule to vastly behind schedule. Uh, just because I got sick yesterday, and that really fucked me bad. So, yeah. It's going to get really tight. I'm probably going to have to stop sleeping soon. So... Fuck me, dude. That's where we're at. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.